Hey, this is Travelling with COVID version 21, and I'm Tony. <laughs> All right, what's the deal? Well, I came back from Mozambique Island. I had a great time there. Loved it. Seriously, could just, you know, just stay there until I, until I die. Such a pleasant place. But uh, I've, I've been, um, I've got problems. Uh, not physically or anything, but I came back, I got my COVID test, I I booked the uh, fly and then I, the flight disappeared and they cancelled it. So this was my flight to Kenya and Rwanda. I would have got there in um, a very short time. Well, you know, six or seven hours, but still it's not. Um, so it's thrown me into a bit of a turmoil because I was supposed to meet a friend in 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 Kigali tomorrow afternoon tomorrow evening Rwanda is the uh, most difficult one I've had to deal with country that I had to deal with for COVID issues and um, it is for example I have to book I have to get the test results then I have to book the flight um, which now is going to take <laughs> like 18 or 19 hours uh, as I go via, I have to fly to Maputo, then Maputo, to, and it's going to cost me nearly double. Fly to Maputo, then Maputo to Addis Ababa in Ethiopia, and then from Addis Ababa to Entebbe in uh, Uganda, and then from Uganda to Kigali. I still get there. Well, not the same day, but very close. Arrive on the 13th. So that's the, the main, uh, that's the outcome of Kenyan Airlines being assholes. Every time I deal with Kenyan Airlines, they fuck me over. Anyway, it's, it's just the way it is. So when I get there, I have to book into a transit hotel. For tw- I have to have another COVID test at the airport, which has got to be, had to fill out a form online, upload the hotel uh, uh, booking and COVID test and then pay for the test that on arrival, which is another 60 bucks. Uh, it's, it's, you know, it's really starting to add up all these COVID tests. You know, I must have spent, I don't know, a thousand or more on that alone. Uh, US. So anyway, once the test is done, I've got to go into... into um, um, quarantine for 24 hours which is not a big deal but then there are other issues with Rwanda if you're not going to a national park you're supposed to go into quarantine for seven days and then have another test but because we're going to national parks we should be able to avoid that if, if I get stuck in quarantine for seven days it's going to cost significantly more money of course but um, so this is the most difficult one so far now I did a lot of research yesterday on all the other countries in Africa and my Comoros, my trip to the Comoros should be okay, but I can't go to Mayotte, which is one of the islands there that's French-owned. Uh, so that's out. Mauritius, uh, Rodriguez, uh, they're all out. I checked all the countries up. I can go to the Congo, or the two Congos I could, but one Congo has internal restrictions, so there's no point going there. The other one's okay, but the other four countries around it are either got civil wars or rebellions or or you just can't go to them because of COVID. So that left Ghana, Togo, um, Cote d'Ivoire, they're all together. Um, so I could have gone to, to those countries. I might still do that. Uh, but I, I'm starting to feel trapped because every, every turn is being blocked. Uh, I can still go to South Sudan, Tunisia, I couldn't, un- I couldn't understand the rules for entry. There's this thing about quarantine. You don't need a quarantine. You do need a quarantine. So that looks like that's out. So it looks like I'm going to find myself back in. Pakistan is not a problem. I was going to go there anyway. So potentially I could just go there early if, if I have to. Um, but uh, even in, in the UAE, you can't go to the other Emirates without swab tests. You know, it's crazy. It's because it's so poorly handled in the beginning. People have gone mad. 
anyway, so that's my options. So it's not the end of the world, but it, it just pisses me off that they just cancel bloody flights without telling you. They didn't even tell me. So I had to go. I just went into the office because it was it happens to be in the same building as my hotel. So I just wander in there and bang. So start to peel again. So yeah. Anyway, not the end of the world, but I'm just finding that uh, <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit trapped. And, I, and Ireland and UK have just gone into quarantine. I can't go back. So, not for now. So it's gotten a bit tough. Or a little bit tougher. But I think... I think Uganda is fine. I can go to Uganda and see the gorillas. So I'll do that as well. Um, if, if you can still see the gorillas. Because apparently it's interspecies, this fucking virus. So I don't want to risk... You know, making the gorillas sick. Even if even if you're allowed to do it, I think twice. Um, so I can go to Uganda, South Sudan, Comoros. And I think that's about it for Africa. And there's other ones in West Africa. I might I might I might go to them too because they. The thing is, they 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 share borders, but their borders aren't open. So I'm going to have to fly from one to the other when it's it's kind of. Flights are expensive in this day and age. So that's my situation. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not going to worry about it. I just, just had a little bit of a madness for an hour this morning while I changed bookings and, and uh, got COVID tests. You know, they give you a bit of paper. I had to go out and get a scan and then load it up onto the Rwandan Health Department's website and, you know, all these things. But it's just, it's just, and then you don't even think about the visa. You're so wrapped up in the, the COVID issues that you forget that you need a visa for some of these places. And then you've got this other uh, stress and expense. Rwanda's not a problem. Neither is Uganda. I can do the, because Rwanda, Uganda, Kenya have a, a joint visa, like East African visa. So I get one of those. I can go to uh, Uganda. But the thing is that once you leave one all of one of once you leave those three countries, it becomes void. So, if I go off to Comoros or Ghana or wherever, I have, when I come back, I have to get another visa. Well, it shouldn't be a problem, but uh, um, they won't let me. I have to go through all this seven days of madness again. So I don't want to stay there. I just want to use Rwanda and its airline as a as a means of moving around the continent. Anyway. That's where I'm at, so I'll be leave. I'll, I'll be unless they, another flight gets cancelled on me, and it's always it's always a concern because it just continues to happen. Um, I'll be on my way to to Maputo tomorrow morning. Um, yeah, so I'm feeling a bit weary now. I'm going to have another nap. I think I started the nap during the day when I've got nothing to do. Makes me feel a bit better. Plus, the football's on late at night, so I tend to sit up and watch the Premier League or whatever, and then I, I feel a bit tired the next day. Anyway, so that's where it's at. I, I'm, the island thing has just happened. I didn't know about the, the, the quarantine until... looks like it, well, it hasn't happened yet, but it will happen in the next week, and I, I just can't get out of here in a week. So it looks like I might have to... Um, We'll have to hit some of those European countries that still allow people in. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Pakistan, though, I still want to go to Pakistan. I just might go there early. Or, or um, anyway, we'll see what happens. At least I can go to Dubai at the moment. I have friends there. I'm sure I can impose on some of them. Okay, that's pretty much it for now. So with luck, 1am to 1am on the 13th, I will be arriving in in Kigali, uh, which would be, I can hang around for a while there. Okay, ciao.